Hey guys, it's Kim here with Barely Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me on ep part one, installment one of, <laughs> of our Exploring the Galaxy Fiber Club. Today we are studying and exploring the planet Neptune. So as I dye up this fiber, I would like to give a very warm welcome to new viewers and a welcome back to returning viewers. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos as they come out. And as always, leave your comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. Now, as we get a little farther along, I will explain to you everything that comes with the club experience and all of that. But for now, I thought I would give you a little bit of detail of my dyeing process. So in each of these pans, I have a full pound of Perindale wool. And I totally forgot to lift the fibers and make sure dye was getting underneath to the bottom layers. Um, so I left, I got freaked out when I saw how dark the dye was. And I was like, nope, too dark. I need some white. So I left a little strip of white. Turns out that wasn't entirely necessary because the fiber did not penetrate, the dye did not penetrate all the way through to the bottom of the pan. So that turned out perfect. And... That's my favorite part right there is seeing that the dye has been absorbed. But as you can see here, the fiber is absolutely gorgeous. The darker blue did split and there's a little bit of pink here and there, but that's fine. It adds a little bit extra personality to the colors. And I like that, especially since the planet is made up of gases, like 100% gases. The atmosphere um, goes all the way down. There is like no hard surface. There could very well be a hard inner core in the center of the planet, but it is, there is no land. So a spaceship could not possibly land on the planet's surface. There could be oceans trapped within pockets of the gas. So there is the possibility of there being water and within the water, who knows if there's land available. Uh, there's not a lot that NASA knows about the planet. Um, it is a really big planet. It's almost the largest one in the galaxy. I think Jupiter is the largest. And um, it's several times larger than Earth and is the farthest from the sun. So those are some little facts about the planet Neptune that I found interesting. I did write an entire adventure story to... Uh, go with the club experience and I don't remember if I told you or not I am carding this bat with silk bamboo and the Tweety silk stuff whether that's sorry silk recycled silk whatever it is um and that is to represent the gaseous atmosphere and the beauty of the planet itself. So <laughs> I did my best to interpret what I learned about the planet into the fiber itself so you can get a wonderfully Neptune-ish experience as you are spinning this bat. And don't forget, you get an adventure story handwritten by me. Um, it was supposed to be a an essay, if you will, and turned into a whole adventure. So enjoy that. Um, now every month we'll have an adventure story to go along with the planet. This fiber club runs for five months. It is pay as you go. So if you haven't signed up yet and the first month is already gone, um, you can still participate in the rest of the months. And if there happens to be an extra bat available, you will be able to purchase it um, either as just the bat or as the full club experience. So the full club experience, you get the bat, which is approximately 3.8 ounces, a breed study on the Perindale breed, which includes some facts on the breed, as well as a little bit of undyed fiber. And then you also receive a photograph of the planet Neptune and the adventure story, as well as a little gift. And the gifts are included every month, as is the story. And we will do a breed study on a different breed each month. 
because, well, I couldn't do just one thing. So this fiber club is also a five breed breed study. So at the end of the fiber club, if you've participated in all five months, you will have adventured to five different planets, received and hopefully enjoyed spinning five different bats, explored or discovered five different breeds of wool, and gotten some little nifty gifts to go along with it. I hope you enjoy, and if you haven't participated yet in this fiber club, I hope you consider doing it. At the time I am filming this and doing the voiceover and all of that, there are still a few extra bats, and they are available as just the bat or as the full club experience, depending on what your preferences are. Um, because I thought some people might not want to do the club, but they would be interested in the fiber. So, all the links to the fiber clubs are in the show notes down below. And um, I look forward to creating your fiber club subscription just for you and finding little gifts to put in your packages as I still need two gifts for each person for the very last installment. Um, and I am purchasing those based off of each individual who is participating. So the rest are more generic. I bought X number of each thing and I have that many available for my subscribers. So anyways, also, if you haven't heard about Kofi, it is a place where you can tip your favorite creators, give them a tip for all their hard work. You can do a one-time tip. You can do a monthly tip. It's however you want to do it. I am thanking my subscribers on Kofi, my supporters, by giving them a generous discount to the Fiber Club subscriptions. And um, I hope you will go check out Kofi, also linked in the show notes below, and to participate in all the shenanigans going on on Facebook, head over to the Facebook group, Fairly Fiber Fun, also linked in the show notes, and come hang out with us. Show us what you're spinning, what you're working on, what you're felting, what you're crocheting, knitting, uh, felt, uh, bleh, embroidering, whatever, whatever it is you're making. Show us what it is. We would love to have you hang out with us. And we would love to see what you're working on. So now that I am done with telling you all about the fiber and the club and all the other things, I'm going to turn some music on and let you just enjoy the rest of this video. I did um, speed up the footage for almost all of it because, well, that would have been a 30 minute video. And I didn't want you to have to sit here and listen to me ramble for a full 30 minutes. So <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.